Well, there's a big push right now in decarbonizing the grid with renewables, solar, wind. But at some point, probably around 2040, we're going to max out with renewables and we won't be able to decarbonize further. We're going to need another zero carbon option. Decarbonization is this uh, immense task in front of us. Fusion, if we can get it going fast enough, will play a unique role in pushing us towards decarbonization. Fundamentally what fusion is, is trying to put a star in a bottle. And a tokamak is basically the simplest type of bottle. And in this case, it's a magnet that holds the plasma inside of it, and it insulates the, the fuel, the plasma, so it can get very, very, very hot. Fusion energy is effectively the universe's choice for how it generates energy. The reason we don't have fusion power plants like right you know, now today was largely one of scale. Is Spark, which is a particular design, its mission is to show that you can make net energy from fusion. If you want to hold something at very high temperatures, but you can't use a physical object to hold it, then you need a force at a distance. And this is essentially what the magnetic field does. We put in, we embed it in a magnetic field. These very, very, very hot particles cannot escape. And then you put it in the right configuration and, and then it gets hot enough for those conditions to occur. And I remember distinctly when HTS, the new type of superconductor, was coming into its own. We've known that this material existed for a while. It's been conjectured that you could turn it into magnets at relevant parameters. But it's been you know, somewhat disagreed upon of how long that would take. To double the field, who knows how long that will take. And what we've done, we have doubled the field in three years. So when you do a complex technological project, I always ask the question, how many miracles do we need? And these miracles are the real top holes in the tent. And in the creation of a fusion power plant, arguably the biggest miracle is the demonstration of the magnets. And that's where we are today. This new magnet technology allows us to make fusion so much smaller with no in science that we're going to be able to get there so much sooner than people had thought previously possible. That's really as simple as that. We innovated not only on the technology, but we innovated organizationally to team with a startup in order to be able to get the results of this work out to the world as quickly as possible. In the case where we are now with climate change, we're running out of time. We felt that MIT needed to stand up as an institution and say so. We built this so that the magnet was the really difficult thing to do. And then if you had the magnet, the next step would be much easier. Uh, and and that's, that's where we are now. If we can make this magnet work, this puts fusion within reach on a time scale that was not thought possible before. And we bring economic viability for, for fusion much, much sooner. While we are gonna to continue to be working on the science, Spark is not a science project. It's a commercial entity. We like to be optimists. Imagine the world in 2050, where you've got 10,000 fusion power plants producing 20% of the global energy use without emitting any carbon. That would be really good for everybody. Our Kitty Hawk moment in fusion is seeing this hot plasma fuel make net energy for the first time. Our goal is to do that by mid-decade. It's the trajectory that comes with mankind starting with fire that understanding they can control fire. And we've been through many different fundamental energy sources. Fusion is going to be the next and last one because it's literally the power of the universe in our hands. I'm looking forward to the point, sooner rather than later, that there will be fusion power plants on the grid and we'll be in a decarbonized electric system. And I believe at that time, we'll look back and think about when it was that we realized that this was gonna become a reality. When I really believed that this would work it was with the demonstrations of magnets. And that time is now. <laughs>